Hey guys, what's up? We are on our way to Walker Stalker. Ah! <laughs> to Walker Stalker Sorry, Boston uh, for our second uh, year in a row. Um, so this should be fun. I am uh, Rosita, if you couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, so it should be fun. I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit throughout the day, and yeah. So yes, judging from the title of this video and the thumbnail, uh, you know what we're about to get into right now. Um, <laughs> so I got back from Walker Stalker Boston um, a few hours ago. I've been going through some pictures and videos and stuff like that to post here for you guys. Um, and yeah, so it was a really, really cool time. I went with my mom and my friend Lydia. Um, for my mom, I kind of put together this last minute Maggie cosplay for her and I thought she owned it. She was rocking it, all right. And here is my beautiful mother in my Maggie cosplay that I put together for her. Hey, there she goes. <laughs> Woo! Um, and then my friend Lydia went as Clementine from the Telltale Games and she did uh, the cell shading and stuff and I thought it looked super cool. So of course I'm going to be putting in pictures and all that stuff as we go here. It was really fun. It was like super chill. It felt way more chill than last year because um, last year was my very first Walker Stalker so I had no idea what anything was about. So I was just like, you know, walking around just figuring everything out. But this time, you know, I kind of knew the gist of it. We were able to just kind of chill a little bit more, not worry too much. Like we didn't arrive there until like 1230, almost one. Um, yeah, and it opened at like nine or 10. But yeah, so we were just like, we, we don't have to rush. Um, obviously the biggest thing for me was meeting Chandler Riggs. <laughs> yes, it happened people. So that happened, that was a thing. Um, wow, yeah, so I know a lot of you guys <laughs> were um, looking forward to seeing uh, this historic moment, um, these, these photos. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Uh, so I had my friend Lydia film some video as we were waiting in line to meet him. Oh, thank you. Um, and yeah, and then I <laughs> randomly decided to ask him um, if he watches reaction videos on YouTube, to which um, he replied, really no. no. <laughs> so a lot of you guys were asking if he like watches my videos. I guess not. Um, so that actually probably saved me a lot of awkwardness. <gasps> Carl, I am not liking Carl being here. Carl? Carl's- Yes! And Carl. Nice Oh. Yes, Carl. Yeah. But it was still a little awkward because he said no. So I was like, oh, then never mind. <laughs> but I still informed him that I am the self-proclaimed biggest Carl supporter, which is a little- I really did say that. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, then I told him a lot of people are going to be waiting for these pictures. So let's hope they turn out good. And everyone's, everyone's kind of waiting for these pictures. Yeah. yeah. Out good. So. I took uh, selfies uh, with my friend Lydia's phone um, because her phone has like a crazy burst thing. So if you just hold down your thumb, it'll take like a million pictures. So I was like, that seems like a safe bet, you know? So <laughs> I go to take the first picture and, um, you know, he was pulling one of those <laughs> things. And if I was paying attention to his face in the camera, I would have done the same. But instead I was just looking at myself, <laughs> trying to make sure I was all extra happy. And so the first picture doesn't look very balanced um, <laughs> emotionally. <laughs> I need somebody else. Um, but then he caught on to what I was doing and then we started doing, you know, the nice picture there. But then, you know, I just started moving my hand uh, towards the end there and we got some of the greatest photos. <laughs> some of the best blurry images that I just have been laughing at um, on my way home and while talking to my friend. Um, we've just been laughing. They, they, these just seem like such 
meme territory. You can make so many memes from this picture, um, or all of these pictures, actually. It's a steep progression from things are normal, things are getting a little disturbing. Oh boy, there it goes. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy those pictures as much as I enjoy them because um, it's pretty hilarious to me. My friend saw the pictures and he said, you're reunited with a long lost friend and then an earthquake strikes. <laughs> I'm sorry, like it just gets me. And I, I just, it's just, I, like when I first took them and I looked at them back, I was like, oh my God, these pictures came out so freaking bad. I was so mad. Um, cause I also wanted to make sure I had my hair down on the sides. And so I forgot to do that. So there was that. And then I looked too excited and whatever. I was just like, you know, nitpicking everything. But then I sat back and I was just like, you know what? I'm appreciating this moment. I'm appreciating the flawed uh, moment that we captured here because wow. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty much obviously the biggest thing about my day. Um, but then, you know, the second biggest thing, of course, is my cosplay. My cosplay that I did, I was super proud of it. Um, I still have not changed. <laughs> I also haven't taken off my my scar which i'm very proud of actually because i'm not a very um you know uh special effects makeup person uh but i was very proud of my carl eye that i did last year um and now i'm quite proud of this little stitch i feel like it looks pretty accurate but yeah so my cosplay i'm really proud of it was not expecting um, the uh, response that it got. Yesterday, I decided to post some comparison photos on Twitter and uh, Walker Stalker, they liked it and they said, you know, oh, do the, make sure to do the cosplay contest. And then I think eventually the next thing that happened was the Walking Dead's Twitter, like the actual Twitter <laughs> verified, um, retweeted uh, or quoted the tweet and said, looks amazing. And that just made my day because that was just such validation because I worked so hard on getting all these cosplay items together for the last like few months. And I was really, really all about trying to make this cosplay be as best I could. And then Walker Stalker ret uh, retweeted it um, and said like, we did a double take, uh, <laughs> which was awesome. And then I got so many tweets. I was like, is this what it's like to be like legit a celebrity or something? Cause you gotta turn off notifications. Cause that was, this is just overkill. <laughs> I was like, wow, I can't keep up with this. Um, but you know, I would look and there's such nice comments. It was just so nice. Um, to just see my cosplay be well received like that because I tried really hard. Um, and I'm glad if you have seen it, if you, you know, liked it, uh, thank you. So I did the cosplay contest again, like I did last year and you guys know last year I went as Carl. So good thing Chandler Riggs was not there last year cause that would have been a whole other level of awkward. Um, this year they did it different. There was actually three different categories, um, kids, adults, and then, well kids, adults that are going as like survivors and then adults and stuff that are going as zombies and whatnot um so yeah so I was in the adult survivors category make me a bullet And um, once again, for another year, I did not place. Uh, I did not get first, second, or third, uh, which was a, a little soul crushing, you know, I worked real hard. Uh, but my cosplay got acknowledged on Twitter by The Walking Dead and by Walker Stalker. So I'm happy with that. I mean, like with the response it's got on social media, um, that's enough for me, you know what I mean? Uh, but still it would have been cool to place, but I mean, what can you do? Uh, <laughs> and then they, they had um, this guy uh, he, that I think he was working with NBC or a, a station here. So they were filming like a, like a Negan lineup sort of thing with everyone. So I like kneeled down and they put like the bat toward me and I tried to do the little the little snarl, um, <laughs> the Rosita sass face, you know. Um, so I did that. Hopefully that turns out all right. I don't know where that's going to be. I think they said it was going to be on the Walker Stalker, um, Facebook page, something like that. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Hopefully it turned out all right. What else about Walker Stalker Boston? Um, 
Right, just so like meeting people. Um, obviously, Chandler was the only cast member that I met, you know. Didn't get to meet um, Christian Serratos. I wish I did. Um, I kind of saw her through some people and I was like, oh, there she is. Um, Would have been cool to get a picture with her. But didn't work out, uh, but that's okay. Yeah, then just like walking around and a lot of people like complimented my cosplay, which was awesome. And then a few of you guys were actually there um, and you know, stopped me and said like, do you post on YouTube? I want watch your videos and that was so crazy yeah so it was so great to meet you guys the ones uh those of you that did um come up to me and say hi it was really nice and there was also this really awesome guy who went as glenn um and he was with another guy that went as negan i think they might have worked at the con i'm not totally sure but they kind of seemed like they worked there they had like really vibrant personalities and I don't know, but the Glenn guy was awesome. And my, since my mom went as Maggie, they took like a cute little picture together and I thought that was cute. Um, and I tried to take a video with them, um, but I'm terrible at recording or either that or just my arm is not long enough at all. So I just cut off their heads. Um, I'll insert that video. Hey! What's up? I found Glenn, yo. I'm here, I'm alive. And, oh, yeah, thank Surprise. God, thank God. No thanks to this guy over here. We made up, he wanted a beer. <laughs> he needed a bottle of beer. Okay. Yeah. That Negan was actually walking around blasting Easy Street, uh, which y'all know is my jam. Uh, Father Gabriel was there, Seth. Um, and my mom apparently watched the show The Wire, which he was on. So she just kind of yelled. I don't know if she was able to do, like allowed to do that, but she did it anyway. And she yelled, she was like, Seth, I loved you on The Wire in her Boston accent. Um, and he was just like, Thanks. And I was like, well, you did it, mom. There you go. I actually wish I like stopped and looked more at some of the different people in the booths. Um, I knew uh, Ted Raimi was there, who is Sam Raimi's brother, who, if you don't know, directed the original Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire, which are some of my favorite movies of all time. I don't know if you see my little... My little Spidey, my little Spidey. I love Spider-Man, um, but yeah. Um. So I kind of wanted to just see him and just be like, yeah, uh, thank your brother for the Spider-Man trilogy for me. I don't, now that I say that out loud, it sounds like a really bad idea. Now I'm glad I did not do that. Um, but he's also in the trilogy um, as J. Jonah Jameson's uh, assistant. I believe. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of cool. And Bruce Campbell, of course, was there, um, who is also in all three Spider-Man movies. Yeah, so that was actually a kind of cool little extra tidbit of my um, interests there. But yeah, I'm actually seriously debating <laughs> posting a video talking about why I prefer Spider-Man 1 and 2 to Spider-Man Homecoming, but I know I'm gonna get Lots of hate if I do that, but I have reasons, guys. I have reasons and they're just building up inside of me and I just want to articulate them, much like my Titanic video, if you've seen that. It would probably be the same kind of vibe, but just not as long. Yeah, there was actually a lot of cool Spider-Man stuff there, like art by the artists. <laughs> art by the artists. Yeah, there was like a lot of cool art and I kind of wanted to buy something. Like, like I wanted like to take home some Spidey art or something, but I just, I didn't. Um, <laughs> some of it was cheap, but I don't know. I just, I, I got the one thing that I kind of wanted, you know, to buy, so. I was cool with that. There was also a cosplay group there uh, that were just kind of standing there posing, <laughs> just kind of letting anyone come in to take pictures. Uh, so I posed with them and I feel like the picture came out pretty cool. Um, that was a very Miley Cyrus thing, pretty cool. Just a bunch of pictures of me and my mom and me and my friend Lydia. I'm so proud of us. When we took these pictures, I was like, yes, Lydia, yes. I can't wait to share these. <laughs> I actually think that's everything. Ah! So thank you guys for watching. If there's any extra clips or pictures, I will put them here at the end. And yeah, so thank you guys. I'll see you in whatever the next video is. I think I will do a video talking about my Rosita cosplay, uh, breaking it down and stuff like that. Um, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for la 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 la. Thank you guys for watching. All right, thanks. Hey, we are here and we're currently waiting in line to meet Chandler. <laughs> Chandler. Uh, yeah, so apparently he's not gonna be back until two and it's one, so I think we're, we're camping out here for a bit. Apparently so. Um, yeah.